What is up guys, Andy Forrester Dean Renner here. Welcome back to another video. And this is week one of my half marathon training series. Now there's a very good reason you're getting a different type of intro this week. And I'm gonna explain all of that at the end of the video because I'm trying to get things sorted for the goal half marathon, which I'm hoping is to be Malaga. But this week hasn't ended quite in the way that I'd have hoped it to. So what we're gonna do as always is roll through a week of training, show you guys the highs and lows. I'm gonna wrap it up at the end by telling you why I'm here in ross on Y and tell you why I've not been able to get any runs in over the last Last three days. All right, good morning. Here we go, week one, run one of the new training series, half marathon training, 12 weeks. Let's get after it. Straight in there today, 50 minutes steady, six by 20 second strides, testing out the on cloud stratus three, a max cushion shoe, which really should be an easy day shoe, but it's definitely got more than one gear. Very much enjoying this one. Fit could be dialed in, but a nice springy soft but responsive max cushion shoe very nice um otherwise laser focused 50 minutes six by 20 second strides let's get this one done all right good morning here we go tuesday first session of the block first session of the week um we'll see how we do back in the trusted takumi send uh, today been testing a lot of shoes over the last couple of weeks but uh yeah getting back into my workout favourites. This one will actually take him up and over 100 miles. They are really getting some good use out of them. So yeah, I'll get to some of the trailhead and I will tell you what we have today. All right, so I made it up to the Green Gate. It is vile weather again today. Not quite sure where this British summer is. July was terrible. August has certainly not started off in the best way, but here we are, 10 minute tempo, two minute recovery, as in easy jog, and then two sets of four minutes, 90 seconds, two minutes, 90 seconds, four by one minute, all off 60 seconds. So four, two, one, 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 four, two, one, 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 one. So yeah, excited for this one, feeling relatively good, but what I definitely learned last week, especially now I'm getting into half marathon training, these rests, they're shortening, we're working on that endurance. Um, so the tempo now must not be crazy fast. You know, it was nice to run 520s when I was doing 10K training and having some good rest uh, in between the reps, but now I'll be going for 530s and 540s, keep it nice, calm and controlled. We need to save some for the reps. So I'm at the green gate. I haven't got time to faff around this morning. I'm already running late, which means my normal 10 minute tempo start way back up on the road and I come down and up to here and I finish at the bottom of a big hill, which is where I like to finish. Today, we'll be going up that big hill and over the other side. So let's see how we get on. No waffle, let's just get straight into this. All right, 5.55 for that one. GPS is dancing around the place crazy. This weather, these thick trees. One minute it was telling me I was running 520s, the next it was telling me I was running 630s, and everything in between. So, yeah, the effort was right. It felt good. The watch reads 555. And the problem is, a lot of the time when I start my rep, I'm starting down here, and this is often where it loses a bit of GPS. So, basically, today, we go by effort and we give this one a good go. All right, set one done. Good enough. With these conditions out here and the trails being a bit sloppy, I'll take it all day long. We're rolling into the second set now. Last push. There we go, last two one minute reps I had to do heading back towards home because I said at the start, running out of time, so cool down's only gonna be. All right, so the GoPro battery died. I really must add it to the list of things to buy. Um, <laughs> it used to last like a week when I first got this GoPro and now it's like a day, I have to charge it after every run. But either way, it's Tuesday evening. So as I was kind of saying earlier, session went as well as it could. The trails at the moment, 
after the couple of days of rain we've had, they're not particularly, they're a bit, they go a bit spongy, a bit soft, they lose a bit of snap, it's fine when it's bone dry, um, so yeah, pretty happy with the paces and times this morning, considering it's not the best surface to run on. Either way, we got it done, felt good actually, felt really good, didn't, didn't push myself too much. Um, everything was quite controlled and that was good to see. So we roll on to tonight, just an easy run in the Clifton Nines um, and yeah 45 minutes getting it done, trying to keep the effort nice and relaxed, recover well. We have a long run on Thursday, I'll explain why we're swapping things around then. So get this one done, see you on Thursday. Good morning, it is now Thursday, a long run. 90 minutes plus four times 20 second strides. Nothing's changing too much for the long runs at the moment. Um, we're just staying at 90 minutes and we'll be moving up very, very soon. But for now, I'm doing a long run on a Thursday because I should be racing podium 5K on Saturday evening, um, just to give myself another crack at a 5K before uh, before I put that distance to bed. Problem is, yesterday, Wednesday, when I was just pottering around at home, I was like, oh, my throat's sore. Oh, never mind, nothing crazy. And as the evening went on, I went for a shave, <laughs> and I shaved here, and I was like, oh man, that really hurts. And I realized my glands were up massively, and uh, I went to bed last night quite early, because I felt a bit rough. And yeah, I woke up this morning, a very stiff neck, glands are very sensitive to touch. Um, don't particularly feel like I have a lot of energy, which is reflected in pace really, 6.58 per mile. Normally I'd be 6.30, 6.40s by now, um, but I don't have a lot today. So the goal is simply uh, get this one done, um, not worry too much about pace, time, that sort of stuff. Heart rate's low. So that's good. I know I'm not fighting something horrific, but I'm thinking to myself, I've got two days to feel good. And I just don't know if I'm gonna feel good in two days because I really wanted to try and get a PB again. Bristol wasn't ideal conditions and it looks to be quite decent on Saturday night. So just gonna have to take it day by day and see how I feel on Saturday. So I'm just gonna get my head down now and uh, yeah, I'll see you at the end. I'll let you know how I get on. All right, four minutes to go, nearly at the end. Um, it's been an interesting one. I've just recorded my thoughts on the Clifton 9 on the long run. Um, I've not felt particularly great today, but I resorted to that caffeine gel. I had just no energy. And that has really, really picked me up the second half of the run. I felt a lot more alive, able to uh, go through the gears a little bit. And on this second side of the long run, it's uphill. So yeah, overall, we've got 90 minutes done. <coughs> just got to get the strides done and we'll see how we feel tomorrow. So it's now Saturday when I'm recording this. Obviously the last long run that you saw was on Thursday and the plan was to be racing podium 5K tonight uh, on the day that I'm recording this. But sadly, I'm just not gonna be able to. So my glands did really swell up on Wednesday uh, evening. Long run on, Sun on the Thursday. You just saw it, it was okay, but when I got home, what I like to do is I don't like to look at stats when I'm running, but when I got home, just check the heart rate, check the pace and, and all of that sort of stuff. And I was just way off and I felt terrible. I mean, the caffeine gel really helped naturally. The new tropic stuff from uh, SIS Beta Fuel is incredible, but um, it got me around the 90 minutes and I needed it. I don't usually have an emergency gel, but I needed it that day. And I, realistically, maybe I probably shouldn't have done that run. But either way, um, it's done now. And I knew kind of on Thursday, I just thought to myself, oh, I can't, like even now, my glands here and here either side, they're like golf balls and in the back of my neck as well. My body's fighting something and I just don't know what it, well, it's in my throat. I can kind of taste it. I'm wondering if it's like an infection or something. I know that's gross, but I can, there's something going on there. Um, 
I, I last uh, yesterday evening, Friday night, I decided to take Friday off anyway, just rest the body. I know that it's more important to rest these things. And uh, I felt a bit more human last night, uh, which is the first time. And I've woken up today, Saturday, feeling pretty good in terms of how I feel myself. But I've come to Ross on my today uh, to get passport sorted and things. So I just posted off my old passport for renewal because I haven't had one sorted in ages. And my wife and my little lad have got their photos done. So we're going to go home now and uh, apply for all of those online. So I am doing my best and getting the ball rolling to make sure Malaga happens. I really want Malaga ha to happen and I'm hoping that next week I'll be able to say welcome to this half marathon training series. I'm training for a half marathon PB in Malaga. I mean that would be amazing. I'm really hoping I can make it happen. It's in half term so we're trying to make a family holiday of it. That's why we're trying to get everyone's passport sorted. Um, so that's why we're here today but just walking down to town to the post office and back up I'm knackered. I'm really tired and I know tonight with Podium 5k I, I might potentially go out there and, and run but I don't want to because I would be nowhere near what I want to run I feel tired and it's just going to do me more harm than good so I made the decision this morning when I woke up despite feeling good if I want to recover from all of this and get these glands down and let the body heal just take the weekend off so just don't run for since Thursday morning not for the rest of Thursday not for Friday not for Saturday I'm going to take Sunday off as well I'm going to go again Monday I'm hoping that tomorrow I feel better again like I feel now it's lunchtime on Saturday I feel pretty good uh, hopefully tomorrow I feel even better and then by Monday I'll be ready to go again I understand with these things that you sometimes if you push through it it's not worth it when I'm ill I normally say if my symptoms are head up I can run if it's a bit of a head cold a bit snotty I just run anyway but at the moment it's not that it's on my chest but when your glands are up you know your body's fighting something and I haven't had my glands up in in years if I'm honest so I've got to respect that and I've got to appreciate that I've got some good work done in the beginning of the week I want to stack week up after week after week after week eight nine out of ten weeks you know for 12 weeks is the goal I did it in 10k training did it marathon training I want to do it in this block so if it means I take three days off um, to ensure that I can start again on Monday feeling fit fresh and healthy then that is exactly what I need to do and after that week I'm on holiday so that week will be a down week as well so the next three weeks are going to be a bit low mileage but we'll get some quality in and we'll see how we do so anyway that rambling at the end is just to wrap up this video hope you understand so yeah exciting stuff that I'm here trying to get my passports and stuff sorted but sadly I guess not the end to the week that I wanted to. Either way, we've got it done and uh, yeah, we'll roll into next week. We're hopefully, fingers crossed, we're feeling a little bit better. That's it from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed week one. If you did, please do consider giving the video a like, share it with your friends and of course, do subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. I'll see you in the next one. Until then.